this. And what I am excited about with this is that there is going to be more transparency. And listen, professional agents are always transparent. We sit down and we go through what to expect. We talk about, you know, the process, the negotiation, the inspects. We do all that previously. We also, if you're looking at this, have to understand that if you can't communicate your value, you're not going to be able to do business. That was not the case for the pandemic. It was just catch. You know what I mean? Yeah. And now it's from where you've got to not only be able to communicate it, but you've got to be able to communicate it with conviction that you know that you know that you're going to bring so much value to this person that they would be crazy not to want to work with you. And so that's one of those things where if you're if you're truly a professional and if you aren't, look, there's there's still time. That's the beauty of this. There, there's time. I mean, you know, if you if you're struggling right now and you're scared about this, the best way to get over your fear of what's to come is to prepare for it. Right. And those that are prepared, those that are studying this, those that are out there doing the business, um, when you're out there and you start building momentum and you take action, it builds your confidence. When your confidence is up, you act differently. Yeah. When you act differently, you, you do differently. And so consequently, I mean, it's, it is a process to do this, but the professional agent right now has more value than they had two years ago. So you just have to be able to communicate that in a way. I just saw, and you should be, I'm sorry, go ahead. excited. I just saw, no, I was just going to say, I don't know about it. I, I just saw a, um, a documentary the other day about a lady named Shakara Richardson, who's the fastest woman in the world right now. <clears throat> She'll be on the U S Olympic team. And she had a great line. She says, she goes, I know that I've got to feel, I've got to look good so that I can feel good so that I can perform good. And so yeah, it yeah. starts with putting her lipstick on. I mean, it's you, the connection between running a hundred meter sprint and putting your lipstick on seems to be pretty remote. Yet she's, yeah. she's, she connected it, you know, so it's kind of what you're saying. Hey, you know, I'm, I'm from Florida and uh, grew up when, um, and Deion Sanders is a couple years older than me, but so he was one of these that I watched when he was in college, create prime time. And he had a great quote too. He said, look good, feel good, feel good, play good, play good. They pay really good. And it's absolutely <laughs> true. I mean, if you, it, if, it does start with everything. This is the thing that I think happens sometimes is like, I don't know how that affects everything. Everything affects everything. Your confidence by, you know, getting up and being healthy in the morning. Look, the first thing we do in the morning is we get in there, we brush our teeth and we look into the mirror and you either think, okay, it doesn't even matter what you look like. It, I'm getting stronger. Yeah. I'm getting better physically. Yeah. Or it's, you, man, you I you get to my age and that look in the mirror is hard. You know, you got to wake up every day and go, but I'm getting know, older, you know. I'm you know, but listen, this, the thing is, is like for me, I mean, obviously, I mean, I look in the mirror and I'm like, where did my hair go? What happened? How did I become the old guy? But I still wake up this morning yeah. and I say, I'm brushing my teeth and I'm like, hey, look, I may not look. Still exactly, got my teeth. But I'm, that's exa- I still got my teeth and I'm headed to this gym to be the best that I can possibly be. <laughs> and that then spills over to my energy the entire day. It spills over to everything. Right. So I think some we forget this little things do make a huge difference. Yeah, they really do. 